In this episode of Secret Life of a Servo, I'm going to cover the different gear materials commonly found inside of a servo. In order to see the gears down inside, I've gone ahead and taken the top off of a servo. Now, the, the purpose of the gears is to transfer the very high speed and low torque rotational motion from the motor down inside and gear it down to where the torque is much greater and the speed is more manageable. Starting at the low end, we have the nylon gear set. Nylon is going to be found in most of your entry-level, budget-friendly servos. Uh, this material has a fairly good wear characteristic, so it's going to last for uh, relatively high repetitive uh, motions, uh, but it's not going to be able to transfer a lot of torque on down the line. So if you have a high torque application, there's always a chance of shearing off a tooth or breaking a gear set. On up from the nylon is another plastic material called carbonite. Uh, carbonite has better wear characteristics than the nylon and it's going to be able to transfer more torque. Next up is the metal gear material. Uh, this is typically constructed of aluminum and these gears are going to be better for higher torque applications than the, the plastic versions and it's good for applications that have a little more abuse, uh, maybe a, a basher RC truck that you're going to be bumping into things and putting a lot of force back on the teeth. It's going to be able to handle that a little bit better. Next in line is the steel gear sets. Uh, it's a step up from the standard metal or the aluminum and these are going to be good for uh, the, the very high torque applications uh, and they do have better wear characteristics. Finally, the top of the line is the titanium gear material. This has the best wear characteristics out of all the materials that we've covered, and it's also the best for transferring that torque on down the line. Now, because these are so strong, High Tech has actually um, created a hybrid gear for the, the first gear that mates to the motor, and this is a very high speed gear. Um, and so, if you do have a, a failure on a gear set, chances are it's going to be this first hybrid gear and you can buy this separately and swap it out and save on cost. With these different gear materials come different servo screws to attach something onto the top of the servo. The plastic gear servos typically use a thread forming screw that's going to cut threads in the first time that screw is installed, while all of the metal gear servos are going to use a machine screw. And that machi machine screw is typically either a M2.6 or an M3 screw, so make sure your threads are right when you're looking for a replacement. And also, if you want to get a lot of torque on that screw, uh, you can step up from the standard pan head, which uses a Phillips drive, and go to a socket head that uses a hex drive. As always, if you guys have any questions, be sure to email us at tech at servocity.com.